Hi and welcome to Wrong Way and today we'll be comparing one of the most popular split adjustable side pads for electric unicycles the Grizzla Flow system in their big model and the Nylonov Kinetic also in their big model line so let me tell you more about it But if you're new to the electric unicycle game, you might ask yourself, why do I need pads at all? So the main purpose of those pads, and you don't have to buy these necessarily. There's other manufacturers that do 3D printed pads or leather pads, or you can make some Kuji pads on your own. And the main purpose of pads is that you, when you ride your EUC, you don't want to fall off from it. So the purpose of being locked in here and here on your heel is that you just can't fall that easily from the wheel. And additionally, if you want to jump over something, you can do that too. I think it will be a failure, but we can try. What? Furthermore, if you want to accelerate or brake harder on the electric unicycle, you need to put some leverage on the wheel. Without pads, it's kind of difficult to do that as you like slide around here. But with pads, you can really lock in and torque the wheel. Oh, uh, that was cool. And the same goes for braking. <laughs> now there's different setups that you can make of those pads. I like them really loose, so I have a lot of wiggle room. But if you want more like instant acceleration, I guess, and more of a locked in feeling, then you take those pads off and adjust them. So let's see. Boom. So they're closer to your shin. You can do this both on the Kinetics and on the Grizzlies. I've been using the Nylonov Kinetic on pretty much all of my power wheels since they were basically launched. Uh, well, the release video was in February and they were on sale since uh, April. While the Grizzla pads I have been also testing not as much as the Nylonov, so there might be some sort of bias, but I just like riding in those personally a bit more. You're of course free to choose whatever you want to put on your wheel. Both of those pads, as said in the introduction, are adjustable in a bit of a different way, a bit of a different material. So this is what I wanted to talk about in this video. By the way, there's a coupon code for both of these pads. So if you want to get a discount and also support the channel, feel free to use my code wrong way, both on Nylonov or Grizzla pads. Anyways, both of those pads do feature a 3D printed mater material that is rather comfortable for your leg, but the kinetics do have a bit of a softer material here, which I like. And by liking, I mean that with the Grizzlers, I get some sort of shin pain after a while, especially when accelerating a lot, while well, I get nothing with the Nylonovs. The Grizzler pads are adjustable in two ways. So they have this screw here in the middle, which you can unscrew or screw in to leave the pads in a pretty similar shape to where you put them on before. So Oh, pretty strong Velcro. Or you can put a small piece of 3D printed material here and then you sort of remember where you put on your pads. There is some additional features here in the front. We have reflectors on the front and on the back. These go as it is here, the big version with the reflectors, with the Velcro for 195 or 199 euros. Those slots can also be used in different ways. You can put some additional melt inside which will be available in the future. Further on, when it comes to just the shape of those pads, I have just one issue for me personally. You might not have it, but I do. It's that this shape, this upper shape is not adjustable. So I usually just hit this front pad with one area. I can't really adjust them as well to be comfortable for my whole shin. I would like the surface to be more flat and that is something I cannot do with the Grizzla pads. I really like the bottom pad though. It's really good for jumping. It's pretty sturdy also because of the screw here. Uh, the back pad, I have nothing really to complain about here. Really like the reflectors uh, here, both on the side and in the back. With the back pads, it's never like really a big issue to have them a bit stiffer. I mean, your leg is pretty soft in the back. So with the back pads, I have no problem at all. Just with the front pads and with the adjustment, not as much as I like. I like my pads usually to be a bit far away so I have more wiggle room for my knees and that's how I can take turns also a bit sharper. If there is a bump, if I need to go on my knees, I won't accelerate. I'll just have some suspension with my legs. 
I really like this design. Actually, with the details here, I like it a bit more than the Nile Nov. Um, they have also different colors available on their website. I really like how their website has a customization UI where you can select different colors. They start at 165, I think, for the smallest version. For bigger wheels anyways, I would go with the bigger version. I will just highlight some dimensions now on screen or just so you can see what are the widths of those pads. And yeah, let's go to the Nile Nov Kinetic. Now when it comes to the Nylonov Kinetic, and uh, keep in mind those are pads which are almost a year old already, but I never really did a full review of the Nylonov Kinetic, I kept writing in those, so that's why I want to make still this video comparison to the Grizzle pads. Anyways, I love the squish factor of the Nylonov Kinetic, they're really soft, they're really nice uh, to, to my shins. I like the shape of them a lot because here, as said, I can adjust it so it's a flat surface. I can bend them like this. Uh, so that's just really, really nice about them. This bottom piece is probably what I like least about the kinetics because that's something that over time, if you don't have like good Velcro, um, can pop out when you do some bigger jumps or when the wheel falls. And then you need to just sort of squish it in like so, come on, boom, and then it's in again. It's not really a problem when it comes to like street riding, but if you want to do some jumps, the Grizzlas will probably be a bit better for that purpose. When it comes to uh, the adjustment, it, you have those like 3D printed parts inside. Uh, if you lose them, you can also buy new ones, but that's probably one of the weakest points of the Nylon of Kinetic. I still use them even though they have sort of this issue that they sometimes pop out but uh, they still hold on tight with the velcro to the shell of the wheel they do not have any reflectors um would be cool if they have them but they don't they are also available in different colors you can actually select the color of this pad this pad this pad but there isn't such a nice uh, customization screen as we have for the grizzlers where you can actually see how the color will look like once you get the pads shipped to your place one important feature that i almost forgot about the nylonov is uh, probably because I don't have Nylonov pads, uh, pedals here installed, but you can get uh, the Nylonov, which these are with the bite system. And then when you have the Nylonov pedals, they sort of lock into the pad. So you still have the comfort of walking and trolling a wheel around that is a lot narrower than a wheel that has the pedals still mounted out outwards. Now you can do that slightly with the Grizzler pads as well. There is like a groove on the bottom side, but then you have the pads also higher. With the Nylonov bite system, you can still have the pads pretty low and the pedals biting into the pads, which is a really cool feature. You can buy actually pedals and pads for pretty much all wheels available right now on the market. I guess those are the Nylonov Kinetic. Velcro is really nice, adjustment system is good, they're softer, and yeah, just really like those pads. So this is some of my Grizzla and Nylonov Kinetic comparison. For my personal use case, I do prefer the Nylonov, but the Grizzlas also do hold their own. I particularly also like about the Grizzlas that it's a bit easier to set them up and they hold on to a weird surface a bit better due to their connection with the screw. That's why I had them on the V12. They both hold their own and if you need some good 3D printed adjustable pads, both of those choices will make you pretty satisfied. With that said, if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.